Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So we're working on some simple graphic, easy winter woods with trees using flat wash brushes, just washing in paint, wet on dry, simple technique. I can show you another take with technique to make like simple birch tree notches over here. But this is super easy. I'm telling you, this is so easy. If you can just take a flat wash brush and make a stripe with it, you can paint this and then add little notches. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear if this was easy for you or not easy for you or something you enjoy. You know, it's always good to hear what the feedback is from my viewers. Also, um, check out my Patreon. I've ad free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. You can see the little blip that comes up here. Boop, in one second, there's our woods. So without further ado, let's get painting. All right, everyone, so let me go over some, some supplies that I'm going to be using today in the tutorial. Um, I'm using this block from Fabiano. It's this one, Artistico, uh, uh, aquarella watercolor block it's because I'm doing wet on wet you kind of want to like not have to make it buckle and I'm going to be lazy because I don't feel like stretching the paper or taping it down so if you don't have a block just tape it down pretty tight um, on a piece of like cardboard or something and I'm going to be using a bunch of flat wash brushes this is just a Princeton 3 4 inch then I have a um, that's a Velvet Touch series. This is Velvet Touch 2. This is 3 8 inch. It's on an angle. It doesn't really matter if you have an angle or not. They're just some cheap ones that I have lying around here. You can get a bunch of cheap flat wash brushes anywhere. And the palette. We're going to be doing mostly like neutral colors and some blues. So it's kind of like winter woods. You think of like, you know, those kind of colors and browns and some grays and some blues, right? This is my new palette that I've been playing with and I was, um, gifted a gift to get from a patron. So I got this great uh, palette. So I've been playing with this. It's a ceramic palette. It's pretty heavy. Um, this is from, uh, I think it's Sylvan Works. I can't remember the name of the company now. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, yeah, Sylvan Clay Works. I don't remember the name of the company. They're based in um, Tennessee. So they do a lot of ceramic palettes and uh, water holders and stuff like that. So this is kind of fun to play with. All right. So picture your, 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 uh, woods. It could be horizontal. It could be vertical. It doesn't really matter either way. You know, um, I might want to do it horizontal just because I think it's kind of, you know, I've been doing a lot of vertical lately <laughs> and we're going to mix up some colors here and, uh, you can use this, whatever brush you have. I'm just going to use the, the small three eighth inch. So I have burnt umber here. Remember, it doesn't really matter what colors particularly, but when we want to mix up a lot of paint. I'm actually going to use a bigger brush. I'm going to use a 12 to mix up my colors with. So um, burnt umber, I'm going to put some paints gray in here. Got a deep dark brown, if you can see that better. All right, and then I'll mix up just some paints gray here. How about some paints gray over here with some ultramarine blue. But I do want neutral colors. So there's going to be blues in here. They're going to be mostly grays and browns. You know, then they're going to have the nice burnt umber here. I could add some red in there. Play around with adding some blue into it. Change that neutral. This is just cobalt. Whatever. Just play around with the colors. You know, you can even have some like, if you wanted to add. Oh, fine. Clanking. Sorry. If you wanted to add. Um, more like a pinky kind of peachy kind of tones. So I've got this quinacridone kind of magenta, a little bit of yellow, like an orangey kind of tone. I'll take a little of that paints gray. I'll change that neutral color. Again, grab some more yellow and some red. I'm just playing around with the colors here. So it's more on the red side. All right. So we're not going to do, woo, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to take the big one, this three, four inch brush, or you could use a smaller one, whatever. I'm just going to put some water on it. 
You can hear me clanking in the little thing here. And I'm grabbing some of this color that I mixed, this brown kind of tone. And we're just gonna paint straight up like trees, just like this. Mm, really kind of just simple. This is just a fun exercise. And we can paint, you can just turn the brush if you want to this way. You can make skinnier trees kind of, you know, leaning. Do another one here. If you twist the brush a little bit, it gets a little skinnier. You see where I'm going with this? Just the trees, just this is wet on dry. You can clean your brush, you can start grabbing the gray color tones. Doing the same thing. You can put gray right next to the brown. I would wait till it dries a little bit though, so you don't have that bleed. More blue gray. You see where we're going with this? I get this beigey kind of brown color. It's just like painting stripes. Well, and then not all in a straight line. This is like a lot of fun and simple to do. Right, and that you can get a little bit darker with some of your tones. So I'm getting this paint gray in here. Let's get some blue in it. Not fun. Going over here, you can make it a little bit lighter. And then you can think about like the background in between the trees. It can be dark gray, you know, beige colors. I'm mixing the two colors together here. Let's just have some. I actually haven't switched to brush yet. I can just use this brush for all of it. This is the three fourths inch, so you can kind of twist it on its side to get a little bit medium width. With that pinky kind of color tone. Kind of looking like a, you know, trees in the snowy woods, right? We're getting there. And you can go down, get some skinnier trees. We're not going to do branches, we're just going to do tree trunks. I don't want to do the branches. Let me do some yellow, a little bit of red. Can add a little bit of blue with that green kind of tone. So I just add some cobalt. So it's kind of green. I'm gonna add a little bit of this magenta. And I should turn it down. I'm just kind of playing with different color tones here. I'm gonna water that yellowish beige color down. Okay, let's see how that looks. It's kind of interesting. right in there now if you want to use a small brush go ahead so now we get these trees in here we're going to start to add some texture to the trees all that fun stuff it kind of looked too straight stiff there so now we're going to go in and kind of lean one kind of next to the tree See that? Now he's leaning. <laughs> and you can get even darker still. I'm gonna add that brown with the, with the uh, pants gray. You can start to play with like, well, that's a little too wet. If your brush is dry, so this is where the small one comes in handy, right? You get the small brush, kind of just tap here on a paper towel. Kind of push the paint on its side. Swoop, swoop, like this. A little swoopy. Dry brush it down. Swoopy. Almost we can make it where the paint is kind of super thick with minimal water. And you get the texture. So we're gonna play with the dry brush technique with the watercolor. Adding some darker tones. Kind of like a birch, but not really. 
And then even still, we can just kind of just go in and play. We can add little, little lines, kind of like a rush tree. Just kind of loosely sticking in some color on top of that color. This is just all about playing. Get a little darker here on the bottom of that tree. Get in here, ooh, a little darker. See, it just changed that whole tree, didn't it? Get a little darker here. Playing around with the bluish gray. Add that darker element here on the side. It's really starting to come to life now, right? So you get the initial kind of wash of the tree and then you start playing around with adding in different tones. You can add different like blackish brown lines going across, right? Add some color, just taking your brush show you on the side. A little pan's gray, a little brown, just kind of mix it around. Just do little lines like it's a birch tree. I'll put little dark color tones here, get some bluish colors in here. See that whole, the whole tree has changed now. Now I wouldn't have to do all the trees with this kind of birchy kind of thing. You can just do some simple knots and just some dark color tones. The ones that are lighter, you can just add a little bit darker tone, not super dark. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of rough painting that. Squiggles. Again, just add some of those little knots, little notches going across from up and down, a little darker on the bottom. It starts to come to life. It's a little more graphic, not as super realistic, but that's the fun. We're supposed to have fun with this. We're not supposed to go super realistic. That's the whole point. Heck, you can make patterns in them. Yeah, I'm getting little patterns in that one. I can change that again if I didn't like it. <laughs> and I'm making it a little darker on the bottom. I can add a little stripe kind of thing going inside of it. See where I'm going with this? I'm having fun. You can add some blue in that brown. They don't have to just be all blue on top of blue. Blue in the brown, brown in the blue. So you're adding some blues in some of this color tones. I might want to go in here and add another tree. Kind of much darker than the ones I have. Right in here. There's a dry brush kind of tree going in there. That's kind of cool, right? So you're just going to keep doing this until you feel satisfied, you know, adding the different tones, the dark tones, little notches. You can add like a dark tone on the side. I'm going to go back in here and some of these, add more trees, some like grayish trees. I didn't have enough of those. Really dark kind of tree. You can try and do that. Um, the technique I have for the birch trees with the credit card, I'll link that one below. The same thing here, just go to the top. Instead of putting the um, color leaves for like fall, you just do the technique uh, with the credit card like I showed. Like here's the credit card and we'll get, just show what I mean. Or you can use a piece of, you can even just use a piece of cardboard, a small piece of like paper that's thick. You get that thick kind of paint. This is the uh, paint spray. You grab it on here, a little here on the side. You see, it creates those notches. Isn't that cool? Gets that rough texture going there. Just adds all that fun stuff. <laughs> This is all about play. I got these really cool trees going here. I'm gonna go in and add some deeper gray. So now I want like the part in between the trees to have some color. We can play around with that. You know, now you've finished this nice kind of tree situation. Now I'm gonna go in and take some blues. So I've got the ultramarine blue. I'm going to mix in some of those browns I have here and grays. 
I do want it more gray though. So I'm gonna add that tan's gray to that blue. So it's like a slate blue. It's getting a lot of water in here. Can you see that? You give a little test if you want. Let me see if you like it. It's like a deeper dark blue. So if I water it down, it might be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna water it down even more. And let's see how this blue is gonna look. For a mystery background color in between all the trees. You see? Filling that in. It's the mystery woods. It can all be gray too, by the way, which would be kind of pretty. See, and then that blue color, you don't have to add it everywhere. So you might want to add more trees. As you see, you put this color down and you're like, hmm, I want more trees in there. I think in here, I'm going to add more trees. Definitely. I don't want so much blue showing. And then some brown, yellow, brown here. A little skinny tree. Isn't this kind of cool? And you can make the blue a little darker up in here, going down. Especially against that light tree. Just kind of see how it pops. Kind of grab some darker, even darker blue. So it could be a nighttime forest. Play around with it, depending on the color tones that you want. I'm playing around with the color tones and seeing how they like, but you see how that tree just kind of popped up and then you can go in and add all those little lines and fix this one up a little bit. It just changes it. I'm just going to go in here and fix up all the blue. So once that blue part is done, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to go and fill in all these blue areas and come back. All right, so I filled in all my blue. I actually made, this one's a little bit darker. Remember we talked about this? You can make some darker. Going and adding my gray with the ultramarine blue. Still wet. You can make it kind of darker on top. That's a little too dark. I'm gonna just kind of bleed some of that out. Now, if you left some of this really light, like this one, like this light gray, you get like a birch tree, right? Going in and adding in some darker tones. Do you want to kind of pull them all the way down here? But you get what I'm saying here, right? So that's kind of cool. And then you just take one of your flat wash brushes and you're going to water this gray down, this bluish gray. And you can start to add little shadows. See? Take the brush and go like this on the side. I'm going to water it down a little more. And we have those like midnight trees, kind of like, you know, shadows in the night. Simple, really zero effort for this. This is your like nighttime wood. You don't have to add the shadows, by the way, if you like it cool without it. Don't bother. But I just want to show you how simple it is. Just taking your brush, going on the side, and going down like that. And you can go back in here and get a little bit darker still. If you want to add snow, add snow. Not necessary. I just kind of think this, the trees themselves are kind of cool. It's a little too white in here. This is just so simple, so easy, a lot of impact, right? You didn't even have to do anything to the snow, but if you wanted to add some wash of gray, blue kind of tones, I'm going back in and adding some more bigger ones, kind of curve it more. It's really simple, right? It's like the woods. If you want to make it really dark at night. It's really dark. I don't want to go in the woods. Just simple straight lines. 
Seriously, I know people say all the time, oh, it's easy for you to do this, but it's easy for you to do it. <laughs> it seriously is. Did you see how much effort I put into this? Just colors here, and you sporadically put them up and down. You didn't have to put them all in a line, you see? And it kind of just gravitates to like a natural look of how it would be in the snow. And I'm just going to go in here and play around with adding in some deeper color here. Right? Because now I didn't intend, intend to make it a nighttime kind of forest, but it kind of went that way. And you can make it just daytime by not doing that. You can just keep adding more like neutral colors and playing around with it. This literally took less than 10 minutes and we have a really cool winter scene. Right? And then if you want to go in, you don't, have to, you know, with the flat wash brush, take some of these colors again, like I said. Little notches going across on some of these trees. Maybe this one make it a little bit darker. This is a lot of fun. Making this one this brown a little bit darker. Just that's what it's all about, guys. Having some fun. Turning it on its side, just kind of going like you can use the credit card technique, just make these little lines go tap, 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 tap. See that? Little wash of color here. And that was super simple. With a lot of impact, by the way, I think. That's my personal opinion. Make some little lines in here. You can add even darker ones. You know, it's up to you how you want to do this. Play around with it. You can you could add branches if you wanted to. I chose not to. You could add grasses in the front. Just take it in your brush and add some simple grasses. All that fun stuff. This is just a simple technique to create a cute little woodsy kind of winter woods. <laughs> So let me know if you like something like this. This is, I think this is super easy. Come on, tell me, if, tell me this was not easy. Just up and down, you know? And like I said, you didn't have to put the blue in the background. You could have did more gray, browns. I'm going to go and add go over this, some of these colors that are, and you can lift more white kind of trees. If you wanted to do birch trees, you can have done that. Put some little grasses here and some brown, brownish. Just take your little oh, bump, 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 bump. Not everywhere, just some places. And there you go. Super simple winter woods. Took minimal time. Um, you know, could play around with it. Like I said, you could add some snow. I have gouache here, and you can put in some snow. To, but it's up to you. I don't want to put in snow in it. I wanted it to kind of be like more graphic. You know, that was my intention. Really simple and graphic. And maybe I might go in and add some more trees. I don't know if I've got all that blue. So I can take some of that gouache, mix in some of these color tones, right? The beiges, the browns. And I can go in here and I can add some trees. It's all up to you. See, here's that brown. I'm playing with the gouache. And I can go back in. I feel like it's too blue in here. Get some more brown in here. And a tree back in here. See, now it's getting better. It's my midnight in the forest. <laughs> this one's pretty light. Go in here and add a little dark color tone. Playing around with all the different colors, the neutrals. Adding some blue, adding some brown. And that's that. I think that was pretty simple. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, make, sh make sure you hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up and make sure, you, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And just play, just, just take that flat wash brush, both of these brushes, let me get the other one, the big one. This big one, do the big trees. 
the little one can do small trees the little one can do all the little shadows and the little grasses and add the little notches you could have played around with just a hard stock of paper and made the little notches for a birch tree all those different things all these different techniques all into one you could put a little put a little um you know bunny hair or you can have a little deer hiding in the woods <laughs> and like i said add snow if you want to so thanks guys for stopping by my channel i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll speak to you soon